Sometimes it feels that you have to write an entire novel to an AI just to get it to change the font of a particular item. So you might end up writing something like this just to change the font of a title like this. At the bottom of the page, we've got a contact form. It says, let's connect. And we might want to change that to a different font in a different size and center it. So this is quite a long descriptive prompt. You have to describe where the component is. You have to describe exactly what you want to change. But what if I told you there was an easy way? If you go to the top right hand corner in Bolt, you're going to see this inspector tool here. Let's go ahead and select it and hit this Let's Connect. Now, you can think of this as like a precision change. Rather than giving it a bit of a general guidelines, I hope that the AI figures it out, which more often than not, it actually can. But as your website gets more complex, or as your app gets more complex, that's going to get trickier to do. So what we can do now is actually delete half of this prompt and just do this. Change the font to play for display, make it 48 pixels and center aligned. And we're going to go ahead and hit this button. And hopefully that's going to make that pinpoint targeted change for us. It's going to save the back and forward. It's going to save the rollbacks, the undos, and also the frustration. So Nice, that worked really nicely. Let's go ahead and try and change something else. If we go up, we'll select the inspect tool again. We're gonna select this button and maybe we're gonna say, please change this. Um, let's say button color to red and make the borders even more round. There we go. Again, we've selected the button, we've given it an exact prompt of what we want, and let's see if it can make that targeted change without editing everything else on the page. Okay. There we go. We've edited this particular button. The corners are slightly more rounded, and if you notice if we go up We've got another button here, which is completely unaffected. Sometimes if you're working with an AI, you can make a change. It can affect other parts of your website or app. So this one just dials that change right into that particular component. Let's do one final change. For example, if we select another one of our components down here, uh, let's say we've got this contact information or maybe this part here, we want to say, Add 64 pixels padding above and below. Now, obviously this is pretty well designed, so you might not want to do this, but in case you did want to add more padding, that would be how I would do it, just to make sure it's not affecting all the other components. Okay, there we go. So that is three precise targeted changes that you can make using the inspector tool without changing any of the other parts of your app. So if you're looking to make those tiny little precision tweaks, the inspector tool is your friend. Hope you enjoyed this video and catch you on the next one. Bye.